What's up guys, my name is Technobber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So this is probably the third and final video that I'll be doing on folding at home. My previous two videos have been a really quick, quick start to get yourself up and going with it. And the second one was connecting multiple computers together to pull together your mining power and control them all from one place. However, in those previous two videos, I alluded to this one over here where I said you could possibly earn money from donating your spare PC power to science. And as you may or may not know, Bitcoin mining, Ethereum mining, any sort of cryptocurrency mining isn't too profitable nowadays just because of the cost of electricity and how much you can actually get out of it because there are ASICs and different computers designed specifically for mining cryptocurrency that your computer won't really be earning anything. However, here you're not actually mining any cryptocurrency. All of the power is going straight towards the folding at home project, providing all of your spare PC power to the global distributed supercomputer that is folding at home, donating all of that power to research and science, where they're going through and understanding diseases, cancers, viruses, etc. better. And it's a really good thing overall. All that's happening here is that you're getting a little bit back, even if it's really tiny, for all of the work that you're doing to help the global science community. So before we get started, over here is my folding at home client. You can see I've been running it for a short while. I've been getting a couple of jobs. Currently my 1080 Ti and CPU are paused. However, you can use all of these at once to go ahead and do the folding at home project. Absolutely nothing changes with this. All that changes is your account name over here, your team number and a passkey. Once you have that all set up, you'll have a new program installed called the CureCoin Wallet, where you go ahead and mine a bunch of cryptocurrency too. Now, of course, I'll be guiding you through everything here. It will be a complete beginning to end a setup. However, I do expect you to have the Folding at Home project installed. So if you'd like to know more about this project itself here, how to control it and how to use it, the quick start guide is linked down in the description below. But today I'll be showing you how you can take this over here and turn it into something that earns a little bit of money. Even if it's really nothing, it's still at least a little bit something back, especially if you want to mess around and see what cryptocurrency is, learn about trading, etc, etc. So the first thing I need to do is head across to my second PC so I can go ahead and show you it from the very beginning. So now I'm on my laptop and as you can see I have the Folding at Home project installed and I can go ahead and open it up and you'll see exactly what it looks like. I've got my CPU in here as well as a GPU and it's currently paused so that it's easier for me to record. Of course this over here will simply just be a username, your team number will be zero and you might have a passkey, you might not. So I'll just reset it to the state over here and hit save. Now basically, what I've done here is I've followed my quick start tutorial, and that is basically where I have left it off. So what exactly do we need to do to convert this over here to help us mine cryptocurrency while we're putting all of our computing power to helping science? Well, it's pretty simple. Head across to the first link in the description down below, which will take you to this GitHub page for folding a browser. What exactly is folding browser? Well, it's a browser created by a user called House, that basically allows you to mine CureCoin and Folding Coin really easily, and it has a super simplified, really streamlined tutorial sort of built into it that's really easy to build off of and get yourself set up with. As you can see, there's not much over here. However, there is a Discord link that'll take you to the CureCoin Discord over here, as well as a Folding Coin Discord where the user house is quite active. If you have any questions and any super in-depth things that you need help with, then these two discords are probably the best place to get information. However, back on topic, once you get across to this GitHub page over here, head across to the releases tab. It currently says 21 releases. We'll scroll down a little bit and I'll download either install folding browser v21 with the blockchain included or just the 21.exe. Note that downloading the smaller of the two will make you download quite a lot more with the CureCoin wallet. Of course, you'll be downloading an offline wallet and that's where all of your CureCoin will be stored. If you're not familiar with Bitcoin wallets and cryptocurrency wallets, well, I'm not going to be explaining them here. Basically, you need to sync the entire history of the blockchain onto your PC or at least most of it as far as I know. But that's all part of the verification process and that's just basically what happens. So I'll be downloading a V21 with the blockchain included. And as you can see, it's currently about three or so months outdated. And the CureCoin wallet itself will make sure to go ahead and fill up the gap between then and now in the ledger, which is the collection of the entire history of transactions. But that's super in-depth and just out of the scope of this video. Basically, it'll be downloading a couple more megs, probably another 100 or 200. And in fact, looking over here on my main PC, I have my wallet over here as well as a bunch of backups. 
and then these two files over here, the blk001.dat and blkindex. These two files over here are the ones that are quite big and will need to update. Now, as far as I know, because it's peer-to-peer, -peer, it may take a little bit of time to go ahead and update. The download may not be that massive on top of the existing 400 meg download that we're doing right now, though it may be a little bit, so it may take some time. Now, for some reason, this download is taking a while, so I'll just wait for this to complete. And now it's finally finished, I've gone ahead and put it on my desktop over here. So I'll simply be opening it up. I'll hit yes when asked for administrator. I'll go OK for English. And it says I'm missing Microsoft VC++ 201586. So I'll just wait for this to complete. Hitting OK will let it download and it'll install. Once it's done, we'll hit next. You can go through and read the license. Agree. And we'll have these two options over here. Folding browser is forced to install, but we'll make sure that we have CureCoin QT Wallet selected as well. Now, of course, if you don't actually want to use the CureCoin QT Wallet and you want to use a different cryptocurrency wallet that supports CureCoin, then make sure to have this unchecked. And hypothetically, if you wanted to do that, then you should also download this one over here instead of downloading the one with the blockchain included. Regardless, I'll hit next, install, and we'll wait for it to finish. Now this may take some time depending on the speed of your hard disk or SSD. Then we'll get to this over here. I'll make sure to check both of these to allow it access to the internet. I'll hit allow access and we'll have two windows pop up. One of them is the folding browser and the other one is the CureCoin wallet. The CureCoin wallet says out of sync and we'll just need to leave this open in the background so that it can go ahead and sync all of the missed additions to the ledger. So I'll leave it open over here. Then we'll head back to the folding browser and we'll see this over here. So as you can see, it's automatically unchecked the get folding at home software desktop client one over here because we already have the folding at home client installed, which is this over here. However, if you don't have that installed, make sure that this is checked and we'll continue. However, because I have it installed, it's unchecked. Then I'll make sure get wallet Bitcoin address for folding coin is also checked as well as set up cure coin folding pool info. I'll then hit OK and we'll see this over here. Now in the background, this browser will go ahead and do some things with web pages in the background. This is just a simplified Chrome. If you hover over the URL bar, you'll see this pop up over here. And if you want to hide it, simply just click somewhere in this dark picture in the background. We can, of course, move this to see what's happening in the background. And as you can see, currently it's creating a counter wallet address that'll help us collect the CureCoin currency. Now, of course, depending how many people are actually doing this and using these different websites, things may be incredibly slow. And with the incredible boom of the new users joining all of these services, they may be a little bit too slow to get working properly. As you can see, the 60 second timeout is almost over and we're not even logged into the wallet. So, of course, this will tick over and it'll try and continue with the next few steps. However, of course, it's not going to work. As you can see, it failed and it's not working properly. So what we need to do is close the smaller window. We'll hit the settings icon in the top right, and then we'll go to the second step over here, which is get wallet. This is where we are currently. The first step is getting and installing the folding at home client, which again is this. So I'll click get wallet and okay. Then we'll wait and hopefully this will work a bit better. And of course, right when I want to record, the servers are down, probably due to updating it because of the massive influx of users. Either way, we'll go ahead and hit the settings button and we'll continue with step three, folding at home config. So I'll go ahead and click on this and you'll see this window pop up over here. However, your counterparty Bitcoin address should have something over here. So in the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and enter my counterparty Bitcoin address from my main computer that I've been mining to over time. Then step two will leave as cure coin unless you want to mine a folding coin. Select these two over here, choose between them, and I'll be mining cure coin. Then we'll need to go ahead and get a passkey by email. Now this is something to do with folding at home and because of that, they are overflowing with requests for this. So as you may or may not know, scrolling past all of the endorsements from Hardware Canucks, Cooler Master, NVIDIA, Intel, etc, etc, we'll eventually get to this post over here on their Twitter. Where is my passkey? Passkeys are being sent out as soon as possible to your email address. Thank you for your patience. What exactly is happening here? Well, their mail server is sending out way too many requests and is being limited by their hosting company. So just know that when you get to this step, you may be delayed by quite some time until you eventually get your passkey. Now, of course, if this whole virus situation passes and the huge hype around mining a folding coin sort of dies down at least a little bit, then this will probably be a lot quicker for you. Here, I'll have to go ahead and enter an email address. 
as such, and I'll go ahead and hit Get Passkey. Now in the background, you'll see the Folding at Home website pop up as such, and you'll see Passkey send, please check your email. And we get a pop-up saying, please check your email for the passkey, it may take a few minutes. Now, of course, this email is probably not going to come through to me, because at the time of recording, these servers are crazy overloaded. However, when you do eventually get a passkey email, it'll look something like this. Please use these to activate your client, thank you, folding at home. What we need to do is copy this passkey over here. Then I'll simply head back here, and then I'll paste the passkey under enter passkey from your email. Once you've gone ahead and you've filled in everything up to this step, you have a counterparty Bitcoin address, which I've gone ahead and entered manually because the servers aren't working currently. You've set up a username and you've chosen a separator. You've chosen a cryptocurrency down here. You've entered an email, clicked get a passkey, and you've been emailed the passkey, you put it in here. All we need to do is hit the save button at the bottom over here. And then we'll hit OK. Then once we're done with this step over here, we can hit the config button once again, and we'll head across to the Cure setup. As you can see, the tooltip says one time only set up Cure Coins Crypto Bullions Folding Pool info. So we'll click that and we'll hit OK. And before we do that, you can see that my cryptocurrency wallet has finally synced. Cure Coin Wallet, Overview, and there's no message at the bottom. And at the top, it doesn't say out of date. Great. So I'll hit OK and it'll be taken across to this page over here. Now some information will automatically be filled in, and it'll be asked to enter the capture from the bottom of the page over here. So, HW4FCU, hopefully this works first time around, and of course it says account exists because I've already created one. However, of course, you'll be taken through the rest of the process, and you'll be continuing with it. Heading back to the settings button at the very top right, we'll click the saved data button down here, and you'll see this over here. Now this should be completely filled out with information, except for Discord email, Discord password, and extreme overclocking ID. I've gone ahead and pasted in all the relevant information from my main PC over here, except my Kyrcoin wallet address is different. That's because it picked up the one from over here. Our Kyrcoin wallet, if we head across to receive coins, you'll see a wallet over here. The address matches the one over here meaning that when you eventually get paid from this project over here, it'll get sent straight to this CureCoin wallet over here. So make sure that you leave this one over here. I'll head back to Overview and I'll minimize it for now. Then once you're done here, I'll hit Save Changes and Close. Then I'll open up the Settings window once again and I'll head across to the first icon on this list, which is Web Control. This is the same as it usually is, except you can see folding at home your two devices and you can see over here points earned, how many go to CureCoins total for this amount, which is CureCoins total mining pool total. That was a lot to say. Either way, if you see information like this, yours will probably say zero. As long as you see Team CureCoin over here, you're probably already completely set up. And hey, if you're not, then you'll probably waste a couple of hours folding. However, all of it's going to research and you're getting paid literally nothing when you do actually get paid. So it's probably nothing too huge to worry about, though it should really be working at this point, especially if things worked first time round because there's not so many people using it at the time of you watching this. Heading back to the cogwheel in the top right, there's a couple of cool things that we can check over here. We have a folding coin related tab over here. You can go ahead and join the Discord if you want. Here's the link. And we have a cure coin related tab down here. And you can join it by clicking the Discord link over here. We have a bunch of information over here. And we have EOC stats. Now this is the extreme overclocking stats. This is where you'll put in your username that we saw earlier. However, it's rather confusing to say the least to sign up and get a username on the extreme overclocking folding forum. How exactly do we do this? Well, it's pretty difficult. What you need to do is head across to the very top where it says EOC forums. We'll click on that link. Then we'll get to this page over here. Looking again at the top, we'll find register, we'll click that, we'll put in a date of birth, mine's December 6th, 1999, proceed, we get this over here, I agree, register, and we get to choose a username, put the password, email address, put in these over here, which is probably the most difficult thing that I've done in a while, this is so much more difficult than doing Google's recaptures, clicking pictures, but anyway, we have a couple more basic questions, and once you're done with this, you'll have your account set up properly. Looking over to my main computer, I'll head across to EOC Team Stats. And as you can see, I'm actually logged in on my main PC. Welcome Technobo. Basically, what you need to do once you've made an account is click your username up here. Mine's Technobo. 
And at the very top, we have this link, forums.extremeoverclocking.com slash member.php question mark u equals. We need to copy this number after u equals. So I'll select it, right click copy. I'll head back to my laptop over here. We'll go to settings followed by saved data, and we'll paste it in at the very bottom over here where it says extreme overclocking ID. Then I'll hit save changes, and we're basically done. This is all the setup that you really need to do to go ahead and start quote unquote mining cure coin or folding coin. Either way, I'll head back to web control, and this is basically where you'll be spending all of your time. Now, of course, for me, I've gone ahead and I've started probably about two or three days ago, so I'm not too experienced with this whole thing, and I'm not exactly sure when you get paid out or exactly how much, etc., etc., but you can find calculators online with a very simple Google that'll give you a rough estimate of how much you'll be quote-unquote earning with this. I say quote-unquote because you are actually mining the Cure currency, and if I were to go ahead and Google it, you'll see just how much one Cure coin is worth. As you can see, it's just over two and a half American cents. And as you can see, the graph is absolutely all over the place, as it is with cryptocurrency. <laughs> of course, you can draw your own conclusions if you're thinking about investing in this cryptocurrency, never mind any cryptocurrency for that matter. But having a look on my main PC, if I open up my Cure coin wallet, you can see that after a day of mining, I got paid 0.45 Cure. Clicking that takes me to the transactions page. What I'll do is I'll punch it into this calculator and you'll see exactly how much I earned. After a day of helping science and lending my PC power of mostly my GTX 1080 to science for a couple of hours, I went ahead and earned one American cent. It's definitely not a hell of a lot, but hey, it's really just something fun to mess around with. CureCoin at this moment is really not worth a huge amount, as is most cryptocurrencies, and it's super volatile, super gambly, but it will teach you a lot if you want to learn how to trade currencies, etc, etc. Crypto is a great place to start because here you're donating all of your PC power to science and research, and you're getting a bit of cryptocurrency to mess around with and learn. Personally, I've learned quite a bit off of trading Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies for Bitcoin back and forth and eventually into real currency using different trading sites, which if you're curious about, I may get into a video at some other stage. However, for this moment in time, this is where we're going to leave this video off. While you're quote unquote mining cryptocurrency using the folding at home project over here, you'll just leave it going and eventually you'll start seeing things trickle into your recent transactions page over here. However, of course, I may have got something incredibly wrong in this video. And if I did, make sure to check the comments and or description down below for corrections and comments on what I might have said wrong during this video. But this has been a super quick crash course in this crazy time for the folding at home community. As you probably saw during this video, I couldn't showcase a couple of things and it may be a bit confusing for you if I missed out anything there. However, the two steps that we mostly got stuck on were step two and step four. But of course, those are all automated for you and it should be incredibly easy to get going, especially if you just click those buttons. If you're looking to sign up to this project now and start earning cryptocurrency, make sure to have patience because they are crazy full with a bunch of new users giving a lot of power to the research community. Things are overloading crazily, but of course they are working on improving it. As a bit of context, looking back at the Folding at Home Twitter, heading back to their page, you can see 23 hours ago, today is the 17th of March 2020. Thank you to everyone who has been donating their resources. Here are some answers to your frequently asked questions. How can I donate, etc, etc. While we're donating all of our power directly to this project, we're earning a little bit of cure coin back for the effort, which is really cool. Anyway. That's about it. Hopefully this video got you started and hopefully I can edit it down from the monumental 42 minute recording time. Oh boy, this might be quite a long tutorial. <laughs> anyway, my name is Ben Technober here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Remember to check the comments and the descriptions down below in case I missed out on anything, got anything wrong. Join the Discord that I mentioned in the folding browser if you need any more information and or support because I won't be able to provide that accurately enough. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Ciao.